Hi guys, it's Dina here. How's it going? You know what? I got something to tell you. This isn't my real hair texture, that is. Not my real hair texture. <laughs> okay, so I have a long love and hate relationship with my hair. Let me tell you a little bit about that. When I was a little girl, I had an afro, okay? That wasn't a good one. <laughs> Some people's like, I had a good afro, but I had an afro, but it wasn't good. <laughs> that thing, it just caught everything, okay? Like I had leaves, I had food. I mean, by the end of each day, I didn't even know what was in there. My mom did not know what to do with that thing. She was growing out, you know, and I'd roll out of bed in the morning and I had bedhead, and I had bedhead all day. I'm pretty sure I did because every single picture of me, I was like, where? And my sister thought, and I was like, where? <laughs> I was so overstimulated with my hair, guys. There's nothing wrong with curls. And, you know, I love it on other people, but not me, because I also have OCD, and I'm also like overstimulated easily, and I was just like, get me out of this hair, <laughs> and so I just had a lot of hard time with my hair, and I didn't, I didn't like it, you know, I, I wanted it to go down, and it, and it just never did, <laughs> and so my mom said when I got a little bit older, it actually started to grow down, I was so excited, I'm like, mom, please let me grow my hair up, please, 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 and she's like, okay, well, I don't know if you can take care of it. And I was like, ooh, yay, yes, 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 I'll do anything. Please let me grow my hair out. So I started growing it out, okay. Now remember, it's still really curly. <laughs> and so, you know, I'm like, oh, I got to brush it, I guess. So I take this brush and I'd be like, quack, 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 quack. there were some places I couldn't quite reach, you know what I mean? And so I just kind of comb over those parts, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And so, one day I went to the hairdresser, you know what I mean? <laughs> and the hairdresser's like, what is this? <laughs> and there was this huge snarl right here. Well, at least that's what we used to call it. It wasn't a tangle. It was so bad, it was upgraded to snarl, okay? This thing was ugly. Who knows what was in there? I don't want to know. <laughs> I'm glad he didn't tell me. <laughs> so I would just comb over that thing, you know what I mean? I didn't know what to do with it. I didn't know how to get out of there. <laughs> And so my mom was like, Dana, <laughs> like what? I don't know. I, I, I don't even know if I could really reach back there, you know, to even get it out. So when I got older and it was the 90s, it was the first time that somebody suggested to me that it was a choice to straighten my hair. I was like, what? That's a thing? You can do that? I was like, oh. And so my hair was, my hair, you know, it was like, it was growing down, you know, and I'm loving it. And I'm in my 20s. So, you know, I, I, I know how to fix it now. So it's actually, they actually look really good, you know. It looked like, but everyone was like, is that a perm? I got so sick of people asking me if that was a perm. Because I felt like I was stuck in the 80s, you know. I just didn't want to look like I had an 80s perm all the time. Is that so wrong? <laughs> Seriously, though, I wanted to get out of the 80s. And so I said to my hairdresser, I'm like, yeah, go ahead. Straighten my hair. What? <laughs> I'll try it. You know, like I didn't even believe you could actually get through it. You know, before I had kids, my hair was super thick and I had the curls were just big. And I, yeah, it did. It looked like a perm. I'll just it looked like a perm. And then he straightened it. And I am like, the thing that was totally weird, I turned around. I'm like, oh, my gosh, is that my hair? I mean, it looked like he put a wig on me. For one thing, my hair started out here, and then when he straightened it, it was like down to here. I was like, what? I'm like, it got a lot longer. This is cool. And I could go like this. I could put my hands through my hair. I could never do that before. And the other thing that was cool is at the end of the day, there wasn't all this weird stuff in there. So that was a win-win, <laughs> right? Okay. So guys, that is a sample of my comedy. I hope you thought it was fun. Hope you laughed with me about my crazy hair. Yeah. And so nowadays, I only straighten my hair, I would say once a month, just to get a break from my crazy hair, you know, because it's still big and it's still poofy and it's still really dry. And I call it my, my troll hair. And so people know that. And, and one day I'll get a picture of, it, of me in it in troll hair mode because that is like super fun. It's like it still gets really big and poofy. You should see me in the morning. It's like, what? It's like old memories all brought back. I just come rushing back when I look in the mirror every morning. It's just so this is just a little break from the troll hair. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you had fun laughing with me. The whole point of laughing is to bring joy, right? And the whole point 
of me telling you my silly story is to make you laugh and bring you joy this Christmas. And so that's why I decided that this winter that I was going to do Humor for Hunger. Because I don't know if you guys know this or not about our family, but Joe's hour, work hours get depleted significantly. And right now we're the only sponsors to our orphanage in Uganda. There's a huge story why we support Uganda. Why, why Uganda? That's another video for another day. I will, I actually need to make that and I haven't done that yet. But most importantly, we have been serving Patrick Musigwa, which is, and his name on social media is at Jet Sky Official. So if you see me tagging him all the time, that's why. He's like my nephew. He's like 27 or something. Just a young man of God. Incredible. Two of his songs are going to be in one of them. Okay? So you are going to want to hear this guy's voice. Okay? You know, I posted his music a couple times before. He is incredible, incredibly talented. A super fun, loving, spirited guy. And we are doing a comedy and variety act show. Our family is for you this year as a as a as as a joy offering to them okay so if you think our comedy is great wait till you see Nathan okay i'm going to highlight some of the other acts that you're going to see for our on our christmas our christmas variety show that's coming out in about 7 days okay i'll put the link on social media you can donate 5 or 10 dollars for the ticket it's free to get in this time, but you know, up the road, if you like this one, this one's free and then the rest will be paid to get in so that we can give the money in our, in our low time and our lowest time financially is right now is December, January, February, March, April. Okay. That's the time where Joe's hours just go in the tank and we are super duper poor right now. Our family is, and we can barely give, we can barely feed and house the orf orphans right now. Barely or barely even ourselves. That's really being honest there. Okay, guys. But I want to tell you, let's not be all doom and gloom, right? Let's have some fun. I want you to have fun with my family. And you're going to have some fun with us. And I'm going to tell you what to expect, okay? Number one, we're going to have Nathan up. And he's actually an incredibly good ma magician. A lot of people don't know that about him. And he's willing to step up and add that act in. He is funny. He's hilarious. He's a really good ma magician. <laughs> I keep saying, I keep almost saying musician. He's a really good musician, too. <laughs> Okay, but anyway, you're going to want to see his act. He's super funny. He's super cute. You're not going to want to miss that, okay? Okay, now Caroline, I don't know if a lot of you know, she's also stepping up to share in the variety show. She actually has an incredible voice. And it's not just a, oh, good job, little girl. That was nice. And she can sing it too. No, I'm telling you, that girl is on fire. <laughs> she can sing R&B, people. <laughs> okay, you're not going to want to miss that, okay? And she actually is going to be singing... Uh, that type of song for uh, she can sing covers of popular songs. Okay, <laughs> yeah, she's eight. Yeah, Rocket Carey. <laughs> You're gonna see what I'm talking about. You're not gonna want to miss her act. Okay, she's gonna be singing. And that money, like I said, for those tickets, if you love what you see and you want to give us some money, it's all going to the orphans so they can eat this Christmas. Okay, don't forget that. And so, so uh, that's why uh, we just wanted to turn our talents and offer you guys some fun, wholesome, squeaky clean entertainment to enjoy this Christmas and also feed and house the orphans in Uganda. Okay, so if you're on board with that, look forward to our link. We look forward to entertaining you. Okay, and have a Merry Christmas. Bye. Hey guys, I'm just going to be doing some magic, okay? Uh, I'm going to ask my assistant over there to come up and just pick any one of these cards, okay? This card. Let's see what card that is. It's the Queen of Diamonds, okay. Now I'm going to take this card and I'm going to put it in the deck, okay? I'm going to make the card appear on the top of the deck. Wow. Was that it? Nope. No, darn What it. card is showing now? It's the Three of Clubs. It uh. was the Queen of Diamonds, darn, darn it. But you know what? This show is not over yet. I'm going to make this card turn into the card that we picked. Ooh, excited. Okay, let's see if I can get this one right. Okay. Doing the best today. I gotta get my magic going. Okay. There we go. Let's do this. Oh! It was the Queen of Hearts. Bam. 
magic. And I'm just gonna just show this to you, and it's just a regular card, see? There's nothing wrong <gasps> oh, with it. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't mind my assistant, she's just a little hyper. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, she's actually gonna be doing a trick next, so. I am? Oh, yeah. Woo! Thanks, everybody. Okay. Hi, I'm Caroline Joy Longpray, and this is my magic trick. The disappearing crayons. Wait, wait, wait. I'd like to ask my assistant, Nathan James Longpray, You're my up assistant. Here. I know, but now okay. you... Yeah. What, what is it? Here are the crayons. What? what? Did they just disappear? They're back? Oh, man, that's just... <laughs> can't believe that. I mean, how is it possible? Oh, the shoulder. Do <laughs> you want me to try? Nope. Go! There we go, that's better. Alright, wonderful. I'm the amazing gonna disappearing crayons. I'm going to do a trick <laughs> next. Okay. Um, I I'm guess you can it. just stand there and not do too much. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make this coin disappear, okay? <laughs> Disappeared and oh, 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 oh. oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> hey, guys, welcome back. I'm gonna be doing some more magic. I am gonna make some crayons appear in this box, just like my assistant did earlier. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make them appear. How is that possible? They're right there. Did that work? Yes, it did. They're gone. Look at that. <laughs> Here they are. Ooh. Now they disappeared again. Now they reappeared again. <laughs> now they're gone. Now they're here again. What? Disappear. <laughs> reappear. Disappear. <laughs> reappear. <laughs> yeah, see <laughs> some. <laughs> Caroline, your turn. Hi, guys. I'm back, just like my tone it down. Un assistant just did a minute ago. He did <laughs> cranes appear, disappearing. Yeah, I'm just do the So what are you doing? This coin will disappear into another world. Okay. Let's hey, show see. us the trick. Where did it go? Where did it go? What the heck? <gasps> disappear! <laughs> Disappear. Here it is! <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Okay, guys. Alright, I am also going to do a disappearing trick, but uh, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. So I have this cup, you see, and then I have this coin, and I'm going to. What? what? It, it isn't there anymore. It doesn't. Like, what? What, what the heck? Yours. It's gone. Look at that. Like, and it then It disappeared watch this. when you put the cup over it. It's here again, look. Whoa. I'm gonna make it disappear again. Disappear. Ooh. Here it is again. What? What? Here it is, guys. Thanks for watching. Oh, did you have a bonus trick for us? I oh, yes. Do it. Yes, I, I really do. Can, thank can you do for Thank you for reminding me of that, mm -hmm. random audience member. So I have a coin Shh, Caroline, he's right here. Magic. I'm gonna make it teleport. What's this? Where did it go? Look, here it is. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. I'm gonna make myself disappear. We're both gonna make ourselves disappear. <laughs> My oh. turn to do that trick. Okay. All right. See you later. Bye. Song. I said, 
jump on the way up. So jump on my side. I got music in my mind. Got work and I dance to my own song. Bum buddy, bum buddy, bum bum bum. Right before your eyes, I'll be taking flight. I bark to the beat. Bark, bark, bark to the beat. Bark, bark to the beat, bark, bark, bark to the beat, and my heat, and my heat. I bark to the beat, and I own it, own it, ain't nobody do like I do this. I had this dream when I turned six, and I turned eighteen, and I brewed it. Now it doesn't be me, don't be anyone. You live living every day like the last one. Good people by my side, man, I really do my love. So let me cry. Oh, take my look at me now. And I dance to my own song So step by step on the way up Sunshine by my side I got music in my mind I work and I dance to my own song So bum buddy bum buddy bum 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 Right before your eyes I'll be taking flight I'll bark to the beat Bark, bark, bark to the beat Bark, bark to the beat Bark, bark, bark to the beat In my lead, in my lead To the beat